Shalom friends I greet you from the Mount of Olives today is Shabbat before the Resurrection Sunday and we are standing on the Mount of Olives where it is said that the Messiah will come his feet will touch as the prophet Zechariah writes about in front of us is the Golden Gate the Dome of the Rock and the Alexa Mosque over there this, the gold cupolas is the Church of Mary Magdalene the western wall would be on the other side of the view and here below us uh, is like a wild olive grove that you can see so a beautiful view on Jerusalem the modern Jerusalem is over there the old city is over here the Kidron Valley goes below us and the famous Jewish cemetery on Mount of Olives is behind this hill over here so I want to start my video today from here because this place offers much hope in a troubled world where we have wars where we have unpeace here on this mountain a messiah will come and there will be everlasting shalom shalom for jerusalem that will also bring world peace we are waiting for this day to come when he will make everything right when there will be no more tears no more suffering no more grief today we'll go to a very very special place where a great sacrifice was made for the humankind but I wanted to start with this this beautiful view this is what Jesus saw when he came to Jerusalem he was looking at Jerusalem from this perspective of course the, in the times of uh, when he was on earth there was a temple but he was looking from this mountain and he even cried because he knew the great suffering that will come upon Jerusalem this is how much Jesus loved Jerusalem that he cried when he fought about the horrible things that are happen that will happen hello friends from Jerusalem we are now next to the Damascus gate and today I have a special episode for you because this will be airing on Sunday on Resurrection Sunday and so why am I here I'm here because this is the main gate one of the main gates to the old city of Jerusalem and it's called the Damascus gate because it was a gate which led to the road going to Damascus so one of the main roads in this area going east in that direction you have Mount of Olives so east so you would get out of here and go on one of the main roads and we will go today to one of the possible locations of the crucifixion and burial of Jesus Christ which is very close to this gate so in the later part of the video I will be showing you a special garden that we will visit a place where perhaps Jesus was crucified and a burial site very close to this crucifixion site so this is Damascus gate this is the eastern part the Muslim part of Jerusalem 
it's still Ramadan so you have all the decorations here all the tents set up there it's all because of the holiday the Muslim holiday but today we focus on a much more important holiday so let's go visit the garden tomb okay guys so we are now in a beautiful garden in Jerusalem next to the Damascus gate it's called the garden tomb and this is one of the possible locations of the Golgotha in Aramaic Golgotha means skull so the place of the skull the place of the crucifixion and in a moment you will see a rock scarp which is one of the possible locations of uh, the place of the crucifixion of Jesus so right there you can see this massive rock scarp and in the past this place actually looked like a skull you can see here some historical pictures showing you how it looked in the past so this is the uh, the rock scarp the skull and there was a very important road going right next to it we're not far from the Damascus gate it's right in that direction so here still now today there is a bus stop so it's still a busy place where people travel so this tradition has been preserved and this is possibly the place where the crucifixion happened so uh, just to uh, give you an idea uh, the crucifixion would not be on the hill right here on top of it but it would probably be right next to a road because this is how the Romans did it they would crucify people next to the main roads so that the people that would see that would be afraid to do anything against the Romans so this is how it looks today there are actually two places where it is believed the uh, uh, the two possible locations of the crucifixion this one is very unique because you have a, a garden next to it and an actual tomb that you can visit and we will visit it in a moment so and this is uh, this is this place and on top of it you have a Muslim uh, graveyard so still a place of death so it's very symbolic in that in that manner so this might be the place where Jesus was crucified crucifixion was a horrible death uh, you were you were hung on a cross and you would have to gather your strength to get even the breath so I'm doing this really quickly because there are tourists coming so I'll be going now in a different location so this is a very nice place it's a beautiful garden so once again another shot on the skull the hill of the skull and today it's a very beautiful garden here that you can visit when you come to Jerusalem it was uh, actually uh, 
owned it is owned by a non-denominational Christian trust and it was created in 1894 and now it's a it's a place where people come uh, have their devotions there are even services held here so if you come with a church you can you can hold a, ch uh, a service here and this place as I said is unique because the other place that is proposed as a crucifixion is like a church and you go into a church and there's many rooms in it but you don't feel the atmosphere here you certainly feel an atmosphere and the Bible tells us that the place where Jesus was crucified there was a garden so just like something like here and in this garden there was a tomb tomb there was a tomb in which no one have ever been put and in a moment I will show you a ancient Jewish tomb that was found also here very close to the rock scarp we just saw so let's go see it um, in the Gospels we also read that uh, Jesus was taken um, by Joseph of Arimathea and he uh, was a secret disciple of Jesus so he took his body and he put Jesus in this tomb So let's go to the tomb. I want to do this before uh, the rest of the people come because this place is very busy during the day and especially now when it's Saturday before the Resurrection Sunday. This is very busy place. So now we will go in so this is how it looks from the outside One more thing that I want to say about this tomb is uh, that in the in the Gospel of Mark, in the 16th chapter, we read that when uh, the women went in into the tomb, they looked to the right and they saw a young man, and right here the tomb is to the right. So, so Mary Magdalene and Mary of Jacob, they went in and they looked right and they saw a young man, an angel, telling them that this tomb is empty. And this is exactly how this tomb is designed. You look to the right and you see 
a burial site. So one more important detail showing you how carefully you should read the Bible. And then there was a stone in the past here. I was like a rolling stone and it would cover this tomb. Uh, those stones of course are modern, they're not ancient and this is uh, something that was done because the tomb got destroyed and they had to maintain it somehow so they used those stones so this is an ancient Jewish tomb located in a garden very close to the skull so quite incredible it is possible that this is the place where Jesus was laid down and where a resurrection happened so apart from the rock scarp and the tomb we also find a cistern and a grape press right here so an ancient grape press and Jesus as we remember his words he says he's the vine this is where the vine the fruits of the vine were crushed to save humanity this is this wine press so once again Proof of my words, wine press, and once again a view on this tomb. I like this place much better than the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, which also claims that the crucifixion happened there, but this place is just so more natural looking. You can imagine it happening here. So let me go one more time to the skull so that you can see how far it is from the from the cam. So logically um, the place of crucifixion would not be far from where Jesus was buried because you had to transport the body so it would be very convenient for somebody taking the body and transporting it to the to this uh, to this burial site because it's so close So here is the crucifixion site. So you see how close it is from the tomb that we just visited. And a cemetery on top of it now still signifies, still creates this atmosphere of death here. So not much has changed still people are traveling here there's a bus stop right next to this place there is a cemetery on top of it so people would travel here and they would see the crucifixion they would see people that are crucified Okay guys, so I hope this was helpful for you.
hope you enjoyed this uh, presentation it's a short one this time but I think very meaningful one thank you for your attention have a great day and see you in the next episode